Hello everyone, this is Rohit Manoharan from Networkers Home and welcome back to the Checkpoint Lab training. So in this video, we will be discussing on HTTPS inspection. Let's first understand what HTTPS inspection really do and why we need it. So I will explain it to you by a sample topology. As you can see, I drew a sample topology which will not be our normal topology. We will be not be using this topology. It's just for demonstration what it means. Okay. So consider our firewall has two interface, uh, Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 0, right? And Ethernet 0 is connected to our internal network and Ethernet 1 is connected to our external network, which basically connects to internet, right? And one of the hosts in our internet, uh, internal uh, side tries to download a malicious file from internet, right? If this is the site and it's, let's consider it's IPS 1.1.1.1, okay? So he goes in the browser and just uh, puts HTTPS colon whack whack 1.1.1 and hits enter, okay? So our packet travels and let me change the color. Our packet travels to the firewall and firewall usually if connected to ISP will forward to the ISP and ISP will connect it to the website. Okay, these two being the host, it will, uh, it will have a secure communication because it's actually HTTPS port number 443, right? So this communication, whatever data is coming back and forth is encrypted and this firewall can't inspect that data whether it is a malicious file or not. Okay, so our internal side of the server, internal side of the firewall is vulnerable now because John tried to access site three and which was malicious and he accidentally downloaded something in our internal network, right? So to resolve this issue, we have a concept called HTTPS inspection. And this concept is usually if John trying to communicate site three, he will write HTTPS full backpack 1.1.1. This will make a secure connection between John and firewall and then firewall on the behalf of John faking it like John will communicate to site three. So if the data comes from site three travels back to firewall, he will decrypt the packet and see the data and check whether it has malicious uh, things or not. He will basically, if it doesn't have malicious data, he will forward it to John. So basically it will be breaking a single session into two sessions, right? Breaking a single session into two session so that I can decrypt the data and check for malicious data, uh, data in the packet. Okay. So that, that's the uh, smallest explanation I can give it to you. So uh, let's jump into the lab scenario and see how do we implement this, right? How do we enable HTTP? So to enable, uh, we have to follow the three uh, rules, okay? These are the three rules to configure an HTTP, okay? So the first one says enable recommended policies okay whatever the recommended policies are there we have to enable it then we have to enable https inspection okay i will not write it right and then we will check it that's the three uh, rules to implement a https inspection so let's jump into our windows pc which is our managed let's configure Basically, let's come to our HTTPS inspection. Okay, so I'll, I'll be pausing this video and jump, uh, showing you the direct screen of our management. So we are in our management PC, which has an IP of dot one twenty. What you have to do is simply go for uh, security policies. Yeah, I just opened log and monitor, which I didn't have to. I'll click on security policies. And let it okay. Our opening 
So you click on security again. It, yeah, we are in our security policy. The next thing that you have to do is see the left tab, which is this, and go for shared policy. Under shared policy, you have to click on inspection settings. So if I click on inspection settings, right? And there are inspection. As you can see, there is uh, inspection. What you have to do is jump to gateway, which means uh, firewalls. And there are two firewalls. So I will implement this on CPSG1 basically, right? So for that, I will double click it or you can click edit also. So there is the default inspection. Okay, so default inspection, we have to change it to recommended inspection, which, which will be more overhead and with that, it will have HTTPS inspection. So you have to just click on and go for recommended inspection. And I will click on OK. OK. The next thing that you have to do, I will close this. Yeah. The next thing that you have to do is jump to a gateway. Right. Jump to a gateway. I will click on gateway as well. And if you want, you can click and uh, click on the small icon here. So I will do it from here. Yeah. So I, will, I clicked on this. Right. And then you have to go for HTTPS inspection from the left tab. So there are three steps that you have to uh, you have to follow in order to enable the HTTPS inspection. So you have to basically create a CA certificate uh, which you will be authorizing. So I will go for www dot net workers home dot com right and i will use a private key which will be a hit on tab admin one two three admin one two three and i will just create this uh, and its validity is okay because it's seven years i will not change it hit okay we have a certificate and if you want, you can just enable the certificate by uh, clicking on new certificate. No, no, you just, you can just view the certificate and it will be like this issued to this and issued by this. We will have this and you have to click on install certificate basically to install that. I will install it in this current user. So I will be, uh, I will go with the default, which is the uh, radio button of current user. It's selected. I'll click on next. It will ask me place all the certificate or automatically select the certificate store. So I will go for place all the certificate and I will mention the place where do you have to place the certificate. So I will click on browse and in that I will go for trusted root certificate uh, root cert CA basically trusted root CA in that I will place this certificate. Yeah, so I will click on next and then I will hit on finish and click on OK. Okay, great. So we are done with step one. Step two. So it's asking me to install a certificate and I will give it yes, you can install and the import was successful. I will click on okay. And the next thing you can see is to export certificate. If you want to install it in other something and you have to take a copy of the certificate, you can do it. And the third is the most simple step that you have to check mark this enable HTTPS and click on right. You have to click on basically. Okay. That will show you uh, uh, that will show you an uh, which will say you have not exported the CA certificate yet and I'm okay with that. I'll go for oh, yes. Right. So the next thing that you have to do is publish this. Okay. So I'll publish and install it on firewall one. So I'll go for publish and jump to install and hit play. Yeah. And I'll click on install and let it finish and I will show you. So that's how you implement HTTPS inspection. It's very easy. That's, that's all actually. Uh, that's how you implement HTTPS inspection and let the Im implementation complete and we will see.
so it's successfully installed and now that's how you configure and now the last part to verify whether it's implemented or not so you have to basically go for security policies under that we have a tab uh, we have a left tab uh, under shared policy you have an option called https inspection and if you click on that basically uh, you will get a uh, open https inspection in smart dashboard and if you proceed with that it will load you a smart dashboard of checkpoint and my uh, trial license will expire in 12 days i find that okay so under that you will have the default rule which https inspection do okay i'll show you the rule and you can edit it out okay so it's totally up to you so it's just verification so for that you have to go for https inspection click on this and let it load yeah this is the default rule that is there and as you can see source from any and destination to internet we have https and one more thing so i will just make it large we have http and https okay site category you can select a site category 2 for signing the certificate and track is none and if you click on this you can make it log so that you can keep the log and then it's using the outbound certificate what is the certificate you can just click on it and you can just add another certificate if you want basically you just have to click on it and you can delete also it's not a big deal you can create a new certificate okay so next you have to do is save just i have made it a change that its uh, tracking will be log okay so you have to click on save and then each and every website if you go to uh, i will show you with one thing yeah let me do one thing let me bring my epic pen yeah so each and every website now from the internal network b8120 trying to access through the uh, firewall to the internet and you can do this on your own if you go for https colon backwag google.com www.google.com right this certificate will load the website and if you press control plus shift plus i which will open the inspection tab or you can check the logs here too and in that log you will be seeing that it it is uh, using a ca certificate and it has done the https uh, inspection and if you want it in the browser you can go for control shift plus i which is basically inspection okay or you can say developer tools and that's a shortcut for this control shift and i if you are using uh, edge browser you have to simply click on more tools and go for developer to more tools and developer tools it will open the bar there under security you can see the certificate which is signed and as i mentioned as i entered it it will be from www.networkersome.com okay it will be issued by this basically it should be issued by google but we are making a secure connection that our firewall will communicate to the google okay and we will communicate to the firewall so he will be uh, issuing the certificate and he will be transferring me the data of google so he will be the man in the middle okay so that's it you have to just do it i uh, don't have internet on this topology that's why i can't show you but it's very simple you have to just go to google and check the certificate okay to check the certificate you can either come for logs i can come to logs and if you don't uh, if you don't want to come to the smart console you want to uh, if you are in the uh, separate pc or separate host in the network if you want to see the issued certificate you have to go to developer tools or you can say inspect the page and you just have to go for security and check the certificate it will be your issued uh, you, it will be your configured uh, certificate which you configured in my case it was www.networkershome.com and it will be issued from that okay so that's it for video hope you enjoyed this video i'll be seeing you in the next video bye bye